coming from someone else. That's not my word. Okay. Would you turn the page to the New Testament reading? Let's jump about 600 years into the future. Not that I'm preaching here autobiographically or to Episcopalians, but nonetheless, the very last line of this reading from Peter, Peter is one of Jesus' best friends. He's listed first amongst the disciples, the apostles. He wrote to a church. He was teaching them basic Christian teaching to people that didn't get to meet Jesus like he had. So he's writing this love letter to these people. What's the last line? Beloved, while you're waiting for all this stuff that I've been preaching and teaching about, Peter says, work, strive to be found by God in peace, without spot or blemish. Oh, here's the Episcopalian line. Regard the what? The patience of who? Patience of the Lord as what? Deacon Steve preached a fantastic sermon a couple of weeks ago, and his last point of the sermon was a reminder that God is not finished with us yet. To shape a Christian takes a while. I've had dramatic moments of conversion. I know many churches preach it, but you know what? My friends, if you're in this church, God had better be patient. It doesn't all come at one time. When I speak to my kids and I hear about what they want, and the older they get, you know about kids, the more clear they are about what they want, and they want it all. They want it more, and they want it right now. And why aren't you doing it right now? Where is it? Bring it. Come on. And I look at them and I say, I, I understand. I want that all too. But you got to be patient. Not everything comes all at once. If someone tells you you open the box and it's all okay, they're trying to sell you something. They don't care about it. God's patient with us, Peter was saying. Maybe Peter was talking about himself. Is there anybody here that needs to open that card from John the Baptist and see the word patience? God's saying, I'm with you. I'm right here. We're going to walk through this, and it's going to take a little bit. It's okay. In fact, Peter says, it's the patience of the Lord that brings salvation. Not everything is fixed in a moment. It doesn't mean God's not working. It means God can take God's time, and we have to hang in. I want it all to be fixed, done, set up right now. God says, slow down, folks. That's my word, is patience. Is there anybody that needs to open the card today? Did you come to church to hear God say, I'm with you. We're working on it. We're walking together. Patience. That's what brings salvation. Now, maybe that's not your word. So let's give one more go. What's the word that's associated with John the Baptist? I used it just seven minutes ago at the beginning of the message. What's the word that's more associated with John than anything else? Repent. Repent, which is a good biblical word for what you do with your GPS finder when you're going the wrong way. If they made one of those, no one's ever let me have a car that talks to you in that beautiful feminine voice, I'd probably get the New York taxi driver a car. You know, how you doing? Get in the car. Yeah, how you doing? You know, I need one of those, like, church GPS voices. Hey, Brooks, you're going the wrong way. This is news. It may seem to be very theologically difficult. Stop that and go a different direction. This is why you need a priest, right? Go away from the bad. Go towards the good. Isn't this rocket science? The Bible calls it very fancily the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sin. What John was saying to people is that all those things they were doing, all those rules and regulations, it wasn't working to bring them closer to God. They were ready. 
John says, I'll tell you what, I'll baptize you on the outside. I'll wash you in the coldest, muddiest, rockiest river you can find in the Holy Land. The Jordan River, don't think about stained glass and organ music. It's cold and bracing. You go into that river, I've been in that river, it will wake you up. John says, I'll wash you on the outside, but only God can wash you on the inside. Everything you've ever done, any obstacle, any burden, can be taken away. God can do that. This is why we think tens of thousands of people streamed into the desert in the Judean wilderness. John was the first and only occupied Judean wilderness movement. And John's out there baptizing away, sounding like a prophet. And people streamed, very difficult journey, into the desert to receive this baptism. Why? Because they needed to go a different direction. They needed to stop this and start that. Is there anybody here that needs to open the car? And here's John, and he says, stop that, start this. Repent. Maybe that is not really working for you so well. Maybe you can't really celebrate Christmas as a Christian if that's happening. Perhaps if you're going to be a spouse or a mother or a father or a friend or a, a, business, a, a, a professional person with integrity, we can drop this. There must be something to repent about. And yes, we're in the Episcopal Church, and I'm saying it, the word is repent. To give it up and to move towards God in a new way. So here's John the Baptist standing there in front of Hallmark, in front of Rudolph, in front of every Christmas party you don't have the time to go to, in front of all the Christmas letters you haven't written yet and I haven't written yet, all the gifts we haven't bought. And John says, Here's the foundation. I'll smooth it out for you. The most important gift. Christmas you've already received. It's the gift of God's love in Jesus. When you go home today, do me a favor. Don't look for a card from the Keith family. You'll get it in March. Uh, look at those Christmas cards. Enjoy Norman Rockwell. I love them. Enjoy those dramatic black and white pictures. I love those too. Enjoy the silhouetted sleigh ride through the evening. The Bible verses. Beautiful. I read every letter you write. When you go home, just imagine there's another card right at the bottom. It's John the Baptist. Open that card and see the word that's there for you. Comfort. Patience. Repentance. A beautiful advent as we travel through the season to each of you from John the Baptist in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.